good morning and welcome to Clacton on Sea for the Clacton on Sea Seafront Park Run. Yes, it's the 5K. Uh, we've been doing them now a few weeks, walking the 5K route, and today we're doing Claire's local beach one. So Claire did <laughs> Mark Eaton a few weeks ago. She did her local Hackney Marshes. Now you're doing the seafront one. Do you think it's going to be harder or easier or? It's up the hill. Yeah, so let's just show the guys. It is quite a gradient. You looking forward to that? No. You're going to burn more calories. That's the advantage. Yeah, I'm going to burn off the dinner from last night. <laughs> you can see this is the start line, which is in the middle of the, the grassed area up here. And as I said, this is the route. Been doing the start briefing and basically we run this way go around three times and then come around around the fourth no three times so three lap course she said i know i thought it was two but it's, a, it's actually three but it's three no i think it's because maybe it's busy so they're just keeping us in one small area so the good news about this pot run the toilets are just there which claire's just utilized that's because he bought me a large coffee instead of a small one this morning <laughs> Um, yes, any other observations oh, about the course? Yeah, what you can do is if you've done worked all through your calories from last night, your alcohol, everything, just pop to the local carvery at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Or you can even go there for a breakfast. This is what I was going to say, Toby Carvery is just down there as well, where you can have Yorkshire pudding and gravy for breakfast. Or if you need a bit of light, you know, relief, you know, religious advice, you can pop to the local, um, just saw right there, there's a local um, convent. Our convent. <laughs> right. Finally, Claire, what time is your prediction today? Well, as it's up here, I'm going to say 47. Yeah. But I would like to do it in 40. Okay. But you know, when you're running downhill, you can run a bit faster. So I'm going to try and pick up my time there. Great. And what about you, Joe? One hour, 10 minutes? No. <laughs> so I've got mine down to 52 minutes. It's do not think? down, but it depends on the course. So do you think, what do you think I'll be doing? One minute, ten, one hour ten. Okay, right, one hour ten, Claire thinks. Let's see. Okay, one of my swimmers is vegan, Claire, and she's looking for a man, so I've found the perfect man for you. Here's a vegan runner. Right, so everybody is jogged off. So we're gonna go around this course three times and then into the funnel in a bit. Right, so this is our first turn. It's a nice if you're with someone, you can see them coming round. Where's Claire gone? There she is. <laughs> so yes, first of round, first turn seeing one of the octopuses. So don't go in Toby Calvary, don't go in the cafe. We're turning around this and going along the seafront. Right, so we're now passing the toilet where we started. We started up there. It's an ice cream octopus. Come on, surely this has to be one of the best. Let's look at the scene now. Let's see, uh, in a minute we're going to turn up. The gradient is the only bad news that we've got in a minute. So here's our marshal and the turning point. The biggest challenge. Is it harder than it looks, this hill? <laughs> right, it's easy, he reckons. Let's try. So yeah, so don't go along the pier. This is where we go up. This is also the point where we're gonna get lapped. These are the leaders of the race. Here's the A-star paramedic at the top of the hill. <laughs> right, we've done the worst bit. 
we've now got a bit of downhill along the top with the best view. As I said earlier, if you are doing this one with your friends, it's great and they're faster than you or slower than you because you get to see each other all the time. That is the best thing about this one. So looking forward to seeing Claire running behind me in a minute. Is she there? Keep looking. There's a nice supporting spot if you want to support your runners in the middle point. some refreshment. There's a little boating lake to dunk yourself into. Right, so we're back at the start line. Lap number one is done. The thing here in Clapton is these beach toy libraries. Borrow and recycle your buckets and spades. It must be about halfway now. We've done one and a half laps. Where is Claire? This is what I want to know. Has she got a stitch? Where is she? I'm going to find her pedalling in the city. She must be coming soon, surely. Is that her? Here we go again. The hill take two. Right, so here's one of the nicest views. We can see the lovely clear beach over there. You can see the finishing line. However, this is not the finishing line for me. I've got one more lap to do. And this is my last chance to see Claire. I haven't seen her yet. So she hasn't lapped me. So she must just be behind me. You can see loads of people have finished. I'm guessing there's around 300, 400 people. I am inspired to jog down this hill. But I'm trying to stick to walking. Come on, Claire, where are you? She must be coming soon. I perfected my outfit, by the way. Shorts, t-shirt, a jacket that wraps around you, your water, your pot, run tag, your mobile phone. Distance, two miles. Time, 32 minutes. Previous mile in, 15 minutes, 54 seconds. Our last run. There's my bike. Mine and Claire's bike. That's why we're not carrying car keys today. That's the advantage. Oh, I can't wait to lie down on that grass in a minute when we finish. Right, we'll say goodbye to Claire then because she's not going to lap us. She will be finishing just there in a few minutes. Right, this is our third and final lap. Let's go. Oh, just a little pointer as we head towards the bottom mark here. Claire at Hackney Marshes could do less than 5k. So you'd have to make sure you go round every single pointer. So here's the marker that we go round. Also notice the finishing line. You actually have to come down to this bit to enter again. So let's hope we're going to see Claire here. Someone's taking a break there on the sofa, Not on the sofa, on the chair. But that's nice. It's another good advantage about this park run. If you need to have a break, there's lots of places to sit, go to the toilet, have a snack. Do what you want to do. I remember seeing that beach hut. One of my previous photos. 
I'll show you now. That's Claire. <laughs> we finally seen her. We finally spotted her. I could hear her panting. She couldn't hear me because she's got her music in. Here's another one of the octopus which is dotted around the course. Bunting. Right, for the final time, our last gradient. Here's the, here's the world's best motivators. <laughs> Thank you. I normally run the last 50 yards, but the sun's come out, it's downhill. So do you know what? I'm gonna give it a little jog. Let's go. Right, this is the hot and sweaty, sunny photo finish. Right, here's the end finishing line. Claire should be there. Is it here? <laughs> Our endorphins have obviously kicked in. I got mine in 38 minutes. 38 minutes. Woohoo! Let's go! <laughs> She's coming to motivate. Come on, Dad. Larry. We've got the home run. Here's the last 50 yards of the race, which is also uphill. Right. Right. Here we go. The big finish. Thank you. Stop the straw. Right, so they gave us a barcode. We've just had it scanned. We've just scanned our ticket. And as Claire says, sit there. <laughs> You've just got a personal bank on a hill. How the hell did you do that? Skilled it. <laughs> but I... I did, one 10 year old boy told me, don't give up going at one point. So, that was a little bit of motivation. And did the downhill motivate you to run? No, no. Because it did me at the end there. Yeah, but it's that hill you have to walk it up really. How walk it? Yeah, thankfully it's a short, steep hill. Isn't it? If it was long, it would be a nightmare. So this is the finishing line. How many people do you think were here today? I was 128. Oh, was you? Oh, so maybe there was just over 200 then. Great. Right, thank you for joining us. Here are our official results. Uh, and we'll see you again next time. As we said, we are going to be doing Claire's Hackney Marsh run, which she has checked out. Is it going to be exciting? I think we might not do that, though. I think we might do what? it once it's flat time. Okay, one step. Why? What's great about one step? It's flat, and it's like really... Well, we're trying to try it all out, so we just... Yeah. Honestly, we don't want to keep giving them the same shit, do we? No. We'll give you a good tour, guys. And what we're really looking forward to, more than anything... Is making it to 10. Because we can then order our own park for an official T-shirt. Look forward to that video. <laughs> right, guys, as always, give us a like, give us a share, leave us your comment. What do you think of today's course? And we'll see you again oh, next look, time. Oh, have you seen my new band?
and Claire's got this official parkrun band which has got so you her. wear it and then when you go to a scan at the end, you just show them your lovely over. barcode. And also, if you've got any allergies, medical issues, or anything like that, you, you put can your... also get that on there. And it also says, you, oh, I don't want to show that to the people. Your next of kin, kin on there as well. Great, guys. See you again next time. Bye. <laughs>